So not only is this guy lying to everyone, but he's claiming to be a male self-improvement expert and the leading show for male self-improvement, but the culture that he is raising is gross and disgusting. These are bullies. On this podcast, we talk about accountability, okay? Yeah. And we are not above taking accountability. So why haven't you done it yet? See, the thing about Fresh and Fit, more specifically Myron, he doesn't know how to apologize. He's not used to apologizing. When someone apologizes genuinely, they don't say what they did wrong and then add a but right after. For example, with that whole Abba and Preach thing, he said this. It was stupid and we shouldn't have reacted that way. What? That was just an example. Now, when it came to Anna Quinn, he said it many times while speaking on it. Come on, guys. I'm speaking here from frustration now. Yeah. Was it right? No. But, for which you know what? Maybe that wasn't the best way to do it. But, it nice could have been, been handled better, but. But I'm going to take accountability. This was a stupid response. Yeah. But, we don't wish anything bad on, on her. Yep. But. So who is Anna Quinn? Anna Quinn and Myron know each other through online fitness coaching mastermind. They're both into fitness, it's their thing, it's their business, it's what they do. Myron hit her up in the DMs, invited her to come to the show, and that's when things went downhill. So the big allegations are I lied about her threatening to or the, uh, expose the business and uh, hurt the business, right? We doxed her. We doxed her. Well, which is when you lie, people will come at you. So there's a lot to be said here, but we're gonna go ahead and look at the messages from beginning to end between the two. Reading these messages are very important. You do not want to miss a thing. So press pause if you need to. I actually responded to the DM and I was like, hey, you know, what's up? He said, let's do a collab. I was like, okay, cool. Um, I was actually planning a trip to Miami. So I told him like, this is what I'm going to be in Miami. Um, I wasn't going to pay to come out to be on his show. And I hadn't even looked into his show. I just kind of went off of the friend's recommendation. So Myron, and I went back and forth. I'm just gonna pull up the text so I don't say anything that's not true. He asked me when the soonest I was gonna be out there is. I told him that I was planning on being there Friday. He said he wasn't gonna be uh, available then. And then he asked me a relationship question. So when he asked, are you single or married? I saw nothing wrong with that. I found that very professional because his podcast talks about the single life, dating, relationships, all that. Now, I ain't gonna lie. I asked this for two reasons. Number one, to get to see what she would fit in as far as like for the show to see if she's single. And hey, I'll shoot my shot. Yeah, see, when the person who asked that question have different intentions and different motives, that's when it becomes a problem. You wanted something from her, but you, but you used your business to get what you want. That's not good. I'll shoot my shot. I don't care. I'm owning it, baby. Yeah. Listen, I'll shoot my shot. I'm the show all the time, right? I'm used to rejection. We are young men who follow these guys. Did you hear that clearly? Play that piece again. All the time, right? I'm used to rejection. We are. He is used to rejection. This guy is teaching you how to get women, but yet he is used to rejection. He's that comfortable getting rejected because he gets it so much. <laughs> this is the guy you're learning from. Okay. Question. For some reason, I did not see that mess or that part of the message, or I was busy or whatever. So I said, do you want to make it happen or should I plan for next week? And uh, he said it would have to be next week. So we're just discussing logistics. I answered his question, said, um, I'm not dating anyone right now. Dated someone a couple months last year. But um, before that, I was single and I love talking on that topic. As you can see through the messages, Anna had no motive or no intention behind her responses and her answers. She didn't know the real reason why Myron was asking her that question. He said, okay, cool, I'm up for that. I'm not gonna do anything platonic with you, just being honest. And I thought he was reaching out for a collaboration because we're both well known in the fitness industry. When he said, I'm not trying to do anything platonic with you, it was completely left field for me because I was only thinking we were going to do some kind of fitness related content collab. And he said, no problem, I collab directly with girls I date, no pressure though. And I was like, so if we aren't dating, you don't wanna collab? Cause he's never even asked me on a date at this point. So I was like. <laughs> Who asks a girl out on a date like that? Please tell me that's not how you do it. If you do, you're gonna constantly get rejected just like he does. He said, no, don't mean to be an a-hole. But you are, but you are. But we have plenty of women in Miami. And I said, well, same, we have plenty of men here in California, so why would I fly to Miami to date someone who I know nothing about? 
And he said, simple, attractive women are common, high value men are not. That part does not surprise me. He says that shit all the time on his show. There are a lot of attractive women, but coming across women who are entrepreneurs is not common. So the approach that you're trying to do with her will not work. That approach does not work with every woman. This is where you fucked up. I said, you haven't proven to me that you're a high value man. And actually I know quite, I know quite a few high value men. I'm not just an attractive woman, I'm an entrepreneur with a six-figure business and a high-profile assets. I'm nothing but com nothing but common. I meant to say I'm anything but common. No hard feelings and a smiley face. <laughs> so then I screenshotted his our conversation, blocked out his name, and I posted it on my story because I was shocked at this point that someone would use their business, their show, to tried to get women. And when she decided to post that, I see nothing wrong with it. She did block out his name. Nobody knew who the hell she was talking about. Getting others' opinions do matter when it comes to a situation like this, especially when Myron thinks he's right in his approach. And they think that that would work. And I was also shocked that he said that attractive women are common and high value men are not when it's just like he dismissed me as an attractive woman, but not a high value woman. And, um, you know, I don't know anything about this guy, so for him to tell me that he's this high-value man when you're having to use your show to get women, high-value men don't have to uh, use their show and clout to get women, for the record. Now, in that original video, Anna Quinn did unsend one message. Fresh and Fit, of course, feel like they're about to expose Anna Quinn showing the unsent message. There's a reason behind why she did that. Let's go ahead and see what Fresh and Fit has to say. That piece of information about Mike Rashid was extremely significant because we had just done a collaboration with him a week prior and we were planning to go out to California after. Okay? Name dropping someone to show some kind of authority or fear is not a good move. Their Q&A five hour stream was filled with a lot of lies, contradiction and hypocrisy. If that's what you really feel about name dropping, then why did you do it throughout your whole stream? Thank you to Mr. Organic. Thank you to Alpha Male fucking strategist. Yeah, AMS. Tall guy, uh, car reviews. reviews. Um, DJ Academics. Yep, Jabrizi. Jabrizi. Uh, Say the center. center. Donovan uh, Sharp, Donovan Sharp. Sharp. John from Modern Life Dating, Rolo Tomasi. Rolo Tomasi. You know, yeah. taking our side and looking at both, at both sides of the coin, man. So thank you guys for at least giving us the chance, bro. Same thing. So let's go ahead and hear why Anna unsent that message. I unsent one message. And you can see because it's the exact same conversation I post, posted. The only message I unsent was when Myron said that, there, you know, attractive women are common, high value men are not. I said, no, quite a few high value men. In fact, Mike Rashid, my neighbor, isn't Mike Rashid? Wasn't he just on your show? Because he lives in the same city I live in. So I unsent that one message right after I sent it. And I guess he still had, or I, maybe like later. And the reason I unsent that one message was because I was like, why are you name dropping your friend Mike Rashid? He knows, they know he lives in California. But I just didn't feel like I should involve him because it has nothing to do with him. But he is, you know, to Myron's definition, what a high value man would be and much more successful than Myron, which is why I mentioned him because I was like, it's not like I don't know high value, in your opinion, high value men. So I posted anonymously and I said, high value men don't talk the way that you did. I have 75 people on my story. I posted a poll and I was like, Am I tripping or is this crazy? I forget exactly what I said, but people, I had so many people voting, oh my gosh, like this is insane. And so I said, I, I have 75 people on my story who voted. I can't believe what you said. The comments are insane. Not one person has your side or thinks your approach is appropriate. You're tripping. Fresh and Fit is so big on statistics. Those statistics are usually tested on 100 people. That was 75 people that voted and not one person agreed to Myron's approach. Now, if statistics matter to you that much, then that poll should matter too. I said, maybe you should have me on your podcast so I can teach you how to talk to women. And I sent the screenshots. Then he said, responded to the screenshots that I sent and said, I'm just being honest and stand by it. I'm not collaborating with you unless we have sex. You have had sex with a bunch of dudes I know and aren't special. She says, has sex. No, he said fuck, okay? And that word is important to use. I'm guessing she doesn't like to swear in her videos. Fuck is a lot more vulgar than sex. The disrespect this man has. But I'm gonna take accountability. This was a stupid response. Yeah. 
What? She wanted to play a stupid game? So let's do it. So he knows his response was horrible, but he wants to continue to be disrespectful. You could have just said no and kept it moving, but you're clearly in your feelings going through all that effort with a poll, etc. Go ahead and screenshot the conversation of Clout Chase. I don't care what 75 Simp said in your story to White Knight. The difference is I say what I want and don't care what you think they do. I defended myself, told him I haven't slept with a bunch of guys. I said I, that he is a terrible representation of his podcast and his business and that I would be happy to put him on blast. This is where Myron lied and told everyone that I started threatening him. And she blurted out my name. And then she sent me a DM saying like, you should probably rethink how you talk to women, blah, 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 trying to shame me and say like, I can expose you. I, she's like, I'll expose you. I was like, do it, bitch. Like, <laughs> go ahead. Like, I started threatening his business and threatening to expose him. Yeah, up. yeah. And she made threats like, oh, I, I'm gonna, like, I'll make you look bad. It'll be bad for your business. I said, do it. I'll, 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 <laughs> share, I'll help you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> your terrible representation of your podcast and your business, and I'll happily put you on blast. There you go. What the fuck does that mean? That means that you are trying to tarnish someone's reputation. No. No, 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 no. That's not trying to tarnish someone's reputation. You did that yourself. This is what you are showing. This is what you are giving. These are your messages. These words come from you. So if you think her showing people what you sent fucks up your business or your reputation, maybe you should really think about that. Even you are looking at yourself in a negative way. I told him he has an opportunity to impact, influence men and make a positive impact and the example he's setting is trash. I pity any woman who falls for this stupid scheme to fly out to see you and sleep with you for a week promo on your YouTube channel. And then he said, all you'll do is cement my reputation, blah, blah, blah. You don't like it. That's not my problem. Unfortunately, I am who I am. I don't have to worry about an image. You do care. You do worry about your image because this is why you did a five hour stream to try to correct it. If you didn't care, you could have completely ignored all the allegations. <laughs> you care. And um, that's the end of the conversation. The, well, there was like one more response. Uh, and I said, unless you are there, you don't know anything about the men that I've been with. Unfortunately for women everywhere, you are who you say you are and that's pathetic. And then I blocked him. Which I'm glad she did. This was going nowhere, especially with a man like Myron. It's gonna continue to go in circles. He does this on his shows. He will not let an argument go until he's right. What he doesn't understand is that these women stop debating with him because it's a waste of time. He's got such a big ego and got so much pride that he will not lose to a woman. So he will stay arguing. Good for you, Anna, for blocking his ass. So let's talk about doxing. Dox is search for and publish private or identifying information about a particular individual on the internet typically with malicious intent. I'm not fresh and fit, so I'm not gonna lie to you. She doxed Myra when she posted his name. The, let's show the rest of her screenshots from her story, just so people know how many posts she made insulting us. Now I will say, this was a bit too much. I think Anna Quinn could have done things differently. She is now showing his name. She could have done better. But fresh and fit, also doxed her as well. Two wrongs don't make a right. The difference here is Anna didn't go out telling people to go after you, but you did. You got your little soldiers to go over there and harass her. That's what makes it different. Told every the guys, the guys on the podcast told everyone to put my Instagram handle in their bio. What's her Instagram again? It's, it goes something like, Anna Quinn Fitness. Oh, there she's got it. Uh, Anna Quinn uh, Fitness. Y'all want to roast her out here. She wanted to smoke? Okay. I'm, now, now you got to deal with, with that. Now you got to get embarrassed and look stupid hey, and all this other shit. Someone put her, her Instagram in the chat. <laughs> can we see her Instagram real quick? It might have been me. Oh! I can't, I can't really delve into that situation, bro. Of That's course you can. Brother, brother, you DM'd her yourself. <laughs> Yeah, bro, because I know what that podcast means. It's done so much for my life. But that's like, not my point. That's not my point. You understand that there's something unethical about taking a person's name and their thing and sending it to your fans so they can go harass the person? That is 100% unethical. I can't lie about that. Now, this conversation that they had online happened months ago, but Anna came out publicly with all this information during this time with Abba and Preach, which honestly was the right way to do things because if you want to be heard you have to do it when the most people are listening there is no rule telling you 
that you have to say something at a certain time. If it's your experience, you speak on it whenever you feel like it, which is what she did. This was months ago before she was pregnant. She is currently pregnant right now. And from the most recent video that she posted, she might be losing her child. I'm not saying that you are single-handedly responsible for my baby dying. What I am saying is that I took steps to avoid all kinds of stress. I haven't worked out in a month. I've stayed home and stayed on my couch. The only stress that has been out of my control is the harassment I've gotten from your followers in the sake of supporting your name. And now I'm being told that in a week or so, I'm gonna go into early labor and I might have two minutes to hold my baby before it dies. What you did to me was wrong. And so with that, know this. If you do anything to stir up more hate from your fans and put more heat on me during this unbelievably dark time, so help me, I will do everything in my power to make sure that you are legally held responsible for everything you deserve. I don't know why you're sitting here watching all this stuff. If it's gonna stress you out, if it is, that's on you. And if you were really, really stressed, Anna, why did you make a video last week when you knew you would get the most views and potentially get the most hate as well. Fresh and Fit, not only do they ever take accountability, but here they are not empathizing her situation. She took steps to relieve stress. It might not be the way you would have done it, but it's the way she did things. But you don't want people to feel bad for her. No, 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 that's, that's too much. But you do want people to feel bad for you. I'm trying to bring my stress down. It's, it just runs in my family. Uh, it, my dad, my dad's side of the family has always had uh, pretty hypertension, but I'm not on any medication. I'm trying to stay away from it. That's why I eat pretty healthy and exercise. But uh, but yeah, I mean, when there's times where like I'm stressed, like when this girl was telling me, oh, I'm pregnant with no proof, which I'm going to talk to you guys about. I'm going to show you guys that here in a second. You know, it is what it is. And yeah, you heard him right. Supposedly, there's a girl out there saying that she's pregnant and that the baby is his. That's going to be in part three, so y'all look out for that. In the meantime, let's get back to the story. I'm not going to attack her character. I'm just going to show you guys the video. This is what he says literally seconds before he's about to attack her character. He doesn't use his words, though, but we all know what he means by this. So this is the type of person that's making these that made these claims against. Congrats, hope the father will be part of her life. Fathers are crucial in a child's life. Antiqua Finnis, the baby will have a father. Blood isn't everything, okay? Uh, SMH, great, the baby will have a father figure, but it amazes me how women continue to have sex with men they don't know stick around if the baby comes along. It amazes me how a stranger can just assume the relationship that Anna has with the baby's father, and then this other guy, realist again, it amazes me how you did not figure out by her response, and then she goes, you're assuming it was consensual. Don't assume crap you don't know about people you don't know. So I'm just going to leave that there. I don't know what that means, but uh, definitely that's an insinuation of something. Uh, Bruh. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Woo! Like, uh, yeah. I mean. So what is it that you're trying to say? Say it. Say it. You don't know her situation. I don't neither. But apparently... What she is saying is that something happened to her against her will. I'm not going to say that I believe her. I'm not going to say that I don't believe her. It's not my story to tell, it's hers. And you should be ashamed to try to attack her character based on that. So that's Fresh and Fit, Myron Gaines. He mixes business with pleasure. He's out there messaging girls, inviting them to his show, but really trying to fuck. And what does that create? A mess. It's not good for him. It's not good for his business. And it's not good for you, Fresh, what are you doing being partners with this guy? He's bringing you down with him. Look at you sitting there all those five hours agreeing to everything that he says. You are just as bad as he is. Make sure you look out for part three coming soon. Also make sure that you like, comment, share, and subscribe, and please hit that bell so you can get notified every time I upload. See you in the next video, peace. It is what it is.